This video is brought to you by WP Forms. I'm going to show you how to create your own custom login for your WordPress website. And we'll cover three different methods so you can pick the one that works best for you. Hey everyone, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. And one of the best ways to reach your audience is by doing something like a login or a registration page where they can sign up for your site. So if you want to create a custom one, the first one we're going to do is we need to install a plugin. So let's head over to our plugins area. We'll go add new. And the plugin we're looking for is theme my login. So we need to type that in. This is the one we're looking for. So go ahead and click install now. You also want to stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great. Once it's activated, you'll see it here. And you'll also see a new tab on the left where we can go to general to make our changes that we need. Under login, we just want to keep it default for both of these. By default, WordPress allows you to use either a username or an email address to log in, and you can force them to use just email only or just username only, but we're going to keep it like that. You can also choose to allow users to set their own password and automatically log in after they register for your site. We'll leave all of that as it is. And then down here, you'll see that these are the slugs or the little parts of the URL that it's automatically created. So when someone is logged in, it will return them to the dashboard. When they need to log in, then it'll, you can show this URL for them as well as log out, register, lost password and reset password. So all of those look good. You can change them, but really they do a good job of explaining each part of that. So we're going to save changes to make sure that everything is saved. And now we need to create a page so that we can add a bit of short code to the page so people can log in. So we're going to go to pages, add new, and I'll show you the first one. We want them to do login. You can name it whatever you want. And this is the power where the power comes in is from here. You can add images, maybe your logo from your media library or do a logo that you already have. You can upload that here as well. You can write out a anything that you want. This is where it gets interesting. And now what we want to do is add a short code. So I'm going to click on the little plus and we're looking for short code. We can paste this bit of short code and we'll have all of this in the article in the description below, but the theme, my login, and that's the short code for logging in. Then there are others for reset password and forgot password and things like that. So once you create your new login page for this, we can view it and see it in action. And now you see when you go to log in, because we're already logged in, it will take us to our dashboard. What you can do to see it in action is log out and then we can go to that page. Great. Now that is a new custom login for your users. Now method two is by using probably a plugin that you're probably already using. And that's the WP forms contact form plugin. It is one of the most robust and yet easy to use form plugins on the market. And it also does some advanced functionality that lets you like automate a lot of your back end, as well as one of the things that it will do is it'll allow you to do a custom login for your users. Now, WP forms is a pro forms plugin. And so you'll want to go to WP forms forward slash WP beginner. So you can get the best discount on WP forms and you'll want to get the pro version or higher. So once you go and get an account, you can head over to download the plugin. You also want to copy your license key. Once we download it, let's head back over to our dashboard. I want to go to plugins, add new. And instead of searching for a plugin over here, we're going to upload the plugin. You can choose file, find where we just downloaded it and we'll upload that. Now let's go ahead and install it. Once it's installed, also stick around to activate the plugin. Great. Once it's activated, we'll see this screen where you can create your first form, but let's actually go over here on the left under WP forms. We'll go to settings. And remember when we copied our license key, we should still have that. So we can paste, paste that here and verify it. Great. Now we're receiving all the updates and we're good to go. Now that that's been set up, we want to go to add-ons so we can add the user registration add-on that lets us create the login form. So coming over here, there's all of these additional add-ons that you can use for your website, user registration. So we'll install that. Once that's installed, we can create the 
login page. So I'm going to come over here to WP Forms. I'm going to click Add New, and you can name it. You can also change it, the name, any other time. And we're scrolling down. We're looking for the user login form. So let's create the form. And this is what it, the actual form will look like. And then once we put it on the page, we can customize the page. So if all that looks good to you, you can either, even change the name of the button to log in and we'll click save. Then you can also go into confirmation and under confirmation, once they log in, this tells you where do you want to send them? Is there a dashboard that you want to send them to? Do you want to just send them straight to the front? area, then you can do that. So you want to pick where do you want to redirect them once they log in. Once we have all of that done, we can save all of our changes and now we need to put it on our site. So let's do that. We're going to close out of this. We need to create another page or I'm actually just going to go to the login page that I had. I edit this. For this, I'm going to create a custom login area. And what I want to do is going to create a two column area and I want to make the first column smaller than the second. So I'm going to adjust those a little bit. Then I want to make this one bigger and then I can add the areas of the login that I want. For the first one, I want to add the logo at the top. So I'm going to click the plus button, go to images. You can upload your logo from here. For this site, we already have a logo type that we can add up here. So that'll be my logo top. And then below that, I want to add the login. So I'm going to click on the plus sign again, and you can either search for WP forms, or you can find it from the drop down. Once it's in here, we need to pick the login and that's great for this column. Now for my right column, I'm just going to add like maybe an image that's specific to the site. Again, I have a few images to choose from, from the, media library, or you can upload from here. That looks pretty good. It's real simple. You can get as robust as you want, depending on how you want to customize your site, but that looks pretty good for us. So we're going to go ahead and publish. Okay. I've logged out of the site and this is what the login page will look like. And I can make this my main login. So very easy to customize with WP forms. Now, a third way that you can do it, if you're not wanting to create a complete custom page for your login, but you simply want to adjust WP forms login where you can change the logo and everything like that. Let me show you how you can do that. So I need to log back in and from our dashboard, we need to go back to plugins. This is another plugin that you can add and we're looking for a color lib login customizer. This is the one we're looking for. So go ahead and install it and we can also activate it and you can either go to settings here or if you're ever coming back to it, go to login customizer here and it will open up this area where you can make your customizations. All right. So you see, we can make these changes here, but we can also go through and see what templates there are. So we can make it look like that. So there are templates to choose from. You also have logo options. So you can either hide the logo or just use text logo. If your site is at a text, you can also choose to find the logo URL. That could be specific to what your website is about. And here you can do a custom logo. So if you have a custom logo, you can either upload it or choose it. If it's already in your media library, you see it changes that there and you can make a few other changes here, either change the width. You want to be careful not to make that pixelated, but if you want to make it bigger or smaller, I would need a bigger image. So it's not so pixelated, but you can make your changes there. You can also choose different layout options here if you want, or just one column to however you want it. You can customize completely. And this is the main login page for WordPress that you're adjusting. Now, all of these changes that I've made, they actually haven't gone live yet and they won't go live until you click publish. So once you click publish, then that will be live on our site. And now we can see what this looks like in action. And now this is what my new login page looks like. And if you want to customize it even further, you can use something like Beaver Builder Page Builder that can help you customize everything on your site. And make sure you watch this video next where I walk you through how to completely customize your theme on your website. And thanks for watching.